two weeks in a row synopsis. I know. I, mean, I know. I know they are a very cool company and they're kind of on the rise. You know, the second largest provider of IP uh, after ARM. Not a lot of people know that. So it's important that the world is aware that you know this company's doing a lot of things. Um, you know, one of the areas that Synopsys really leads is in EDA, which is all about, you know, tools for design. And in the era of, you know, where you're hearing exactly what we just talked about with Maya and Cobalt, Boost, you know, companies like, like Synopsys are, tend to be very important in that process of building and designing and, and taking next generation chips to market. And what would be cooler than taking the, the gener generative AI trend and coupling it with some very powerful tools that have been built for designing silicon and then putting the two things together to solve the big problem, Pat. And you know what the big problem is? Not enough engineers. There are not enough people in the business right now that understand how to design semiconductors. And as the demand rises up, is, is rising, and as the need for next generation uh, silicon um, is, is moving at a pace that's much faster than any company can keep up, we need to be leveraging the same tools that we're gonna use as a byproduct of the silicon to help us design the next generation silicon. So uh, there's already what they call a synopsis um, AI, and that's their kind of AI driven suite. And what they've added now to it is the co-pilot. So they basically are partnering with Microsoft and there was joint announcements that came out both ways. They're basically using the co-pilot now engineers. And I would say, Pat, my experience in having been demonstrated this, it's, it's not, this is not something that's gonna enable you and me, you know, maybe people that roughly understand but for someone that is a, is a real uh, you know engineer that's part of designing circuits and designing uh silicon um you know this is going to allow them to use native natural language to get code uh sets to get data sets geometry calculus um and and other answers that they need in a quick time uh, frame where they can use that data use best practices it's almost like having copilot in github Right, but it's for silicon designers where they can basically get the information they need to be able to shorten the time to design and allow more design work to be done with fewer engineers. Now, I'm gonna double down on that right now. There is a massive shortage in the market of engineers. And with the, the speed that we are innovating around silicon and the number of companies that are trying to build ASICs, FPGAs, as well as you know larger integrated uh, designs, Pat, there isn't enough of these people. So Synopsys has raised its hand and said, hey, we're gonna be a company that's gonna help solve this problem. We're gonna use generative AI to do it. And Pat, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good breakdown there. And, you know, I was really struck, well, actually, let me just bracket it here. You know, this tool is the first version uh, from Synopsys. It helps uh, designers and those doing uh, validation. They've been doing this on the machine learning front and the and the UI was different. But what they have done is they haven't just uh, stuck an NLP front end, a generative AI, I-based front end to do the same things that they're always doing. They're hitting different data sets. They're hitting new proprietary data sets to give uh, answers more quickly and, and more accurately. I, I couldn't help but to be struck as, as I went through the briefing and as I went through the uh, demo uh, with them and and watch that video, it struck me uh, very much as um, some of these tools uh, like GitHub Copilot, right, that are for software developers. And you might say, well, you know, Pat, uh, Synopsys is, is software. It is, but it's designing hardware, okay? Uh, and, and the fluidity and uh, how much I recognize that, even not being, you know, deep in the in the weed uh, tech nerd, I, I think is important in that, and, and it even kind of pays off on on what Microsoft has, ha, had talked about, which is it's a co-pilot for everything, and the fact that uh, these folks um, came out with that and aligned with Microsoft is 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 a pretty pretty big deal. Um, and the way that I like to describe it is, hey, you know, improving workflows in ways you couldn't imagine before. But now that we've seen them, you're like, oh, this makes absolutely uh, uh, absolute sense. Uh, little uh, kudos for Synopsys here is that Microsoft Silicon team uh, uses this tool or used uh, this tool. The Microsoft team didn't get a lot of announcements, but they seem to be. Uh, have a lot of kudos now had 
had their silicon stuff not come out, you'd be like, well, who cares what Microsoft says about silicon? Well, we should care now, as we just talked about, Microsoft uh, has a, uh, a relevant uh, portfolio of, of CPUs and, and accelerators and some stuff they, they've done on the networking side. Um, yeah, I'm expecting to see uh, a lot more here. Uh, and by the way, there are clients who don't want to use Azure who might want AWS or Google. And I would expect that over time, uh, we see uh, Synopsys light up capabilities from those two uh, cloud providers. Um, uh, unclear to me if you can even run this stuff on-prem. I do know a lot of their AI stuff you can run uh, in a hybrid model, uh, which is good. So congrats to Synopsys. Yeah, I think I think you're you're spot on. By the way, um, this isn't the last place Synopsys is going to put this. These EDA tools will need to exist in different clouds for sure. Um, but you know what, Pat? I love the ingenuity. This is problem solving at its best, and so um, it, it's a first iteration. That's the other thing you said I really like. This is just the beginning. This isn't the end of this kind of tool, and there will be some work to, to be done before it's going to maximize value. But I, I do like directional, especially the use of generative AI to solve problems where there are real labor shortages in the world. This is an area that just can't pump out enough qualified people. And it's going to be yeah. so important because you know what, what Silicon eats, Pat, for breakfast? Silicon eats the world. Silicon eats the world. All right. I think I heard uh, some smart analysts say that once. Yeah. Real analysts. Right. Real analysts. Right. Um, Exactly. 